armor on him. That's a really, that's a good spell. I like that. I like ice armor on Doom. It's underrated. And he cleans this creep wave up so quickly as d Doan was so close to his blink dagger. He's just going to go back mid, take some CS, get up to, get up to uh, level 9 and get his blink dagger. And then hopefully he should be able to be more of use to his team as we check out the net worth graph. We see that uh, Muta and Neko are leading in that work. Storm Spirit fighting with uh, the sniper for control of the for control of the uh, net worth third spot. Loaf is getting close to his level six as he steals a CS from his uh, friend there. Juggernaut has his ultimate available in 50 seconds. He needs mana for it though, as uh, Muta will go into the jungle and just hit creeps. Because that's what Juggernaut does best, and uh, Doom is uh, 100, 1,300 gold away from his uh, Aghanim Scepter. When he gets that, he will be scary indeed. I don't believe we saw Spectre use ultimate that fight either. A little bit of a delayed timing. Didn't even have the Doom on him. As uh, we see, Ancients were cleared at least once by the Tide Hunter, and... Uh, did Dyer say we've had enough of those shenanigans? We're gonna send the Lion Illusion over there. <clears throat> Mita is slowly accruing more farm. We'll see what he decides to go for. He can get a Yasha now as Tide picks up the Blink Dagger, has Ravage in 25. I think the move here should be to smoke up with the team. Go and blaze it for the for the brothers. And uh, try and find a kill on somebody as they head bottom. They won't be able to find anybody. There's a uh, ward drop down in uh, Dire Vision. Man, it seems like both teams are just warding the same spots everywhere this game. As Sane is making his way towards an Orchid. But uh, his item progression is slowed down significantly by that death. Looks like there's going to be a group up for EVHS as they uh, do have all their ultimates off cooldown. Full mana, almost, for the Juggernaut. Can use all his spells before uh, before running out. Stormy WT has his Echo Slam, and he's working towards a working towards a Blink Dagger. Not even choosing to get any mana regen, such as a Soul Ring or a or Arcane Boots. He's just going straight for that Blink Dagger. <clears throat> I don't think he'll have enough to use his full combination. By the time he gets a Blink Dagger, he will. However, so not much of a Worry for him as Sniper has picked up the Drums of Endurance and has a full Mask of Madness. We'll bring the Mask of Madness out to himself in a little bit. Doom going back to base to regen mana. Has do level 2 Doom available and uh, just 350 gold until he has a full Aghanim Scepter. Uh, Doom also has a Smoke of Deceit, I believe, bought by himself. Hot Cheetahs on the way to a Blink Dagger with Tranquil Boots already and Rubik has Spell Steal. Looks like everything is just coming together for EVHS as Rubik actually goes for two, three points in Telekinesis, I actually think. Um, personally, I prefer Fade Bolt f uh, maxed first because it gives you more damage and allows you to be more of a nuisance. It lets you counter push a lot more effectively. As opposed to Telekinesis, which just gives you a little bit more stun duration and a little bit more lift duration. As Didoan walks into mid and reveals his Blink Dagger, the surprise is ruined. I think normally you want that first Blink Dagger reveal to be a surprise. You want to get a kill off it with the Ravage, but uh, in this case, I suppose, he will settle. As there is a group up on the high ground from EVHS. East view trying to represent their colors as Muta does not have a TV scroll, but he can afford one. Purchases a Yasha. Going for that either a casual Yasha or just a immediate uh, Sanjin Yasha as D Doan gonna be right up close and personal to the tower. Maybe a little bit of a, a mistake. He can have his blink dagger cancelled by the shrapnel as he will walk into the trees. Stormy WT eats a doom. The Ravage comes out, hits two, but it's immediately stolen by Rubik. Sane gets turned into a frog and counter Ravage as Earthshaker dies on the back end, and so too does Tidehunter, and so also does the Shadow Shaman. Just a disastrous team fight for Cupertino High School. Looking like they're a little bit outclassed by EVHS here. And with that, Lion buys a Blink Dagger for himself. Good little pickup at uh, 18 minutes. That's pretty insane if you think about it. He's farming very well and being extremely useful to his team I have to say um, maybe the MVP here although after that Ravage steal I think Rubik 
could be considered up there. That was a good one. I mean, he even got caught by the Ravage, I'm pretty sure, and still managed to steal it. I don't know if that's a misplay on uh, <clears throat> on the Tidehunter's part or just really good play on Rubik. I'm going to say good play from Rubik. In the meantime, Don't Be Stupid was uh, farming away. He gets a Sacred Relic. Maybe best that he doesn't join that team fight. Just gives him more time to farm. Although you really have to question, once he gets this uh, Radiance, will he really be of that much use to his team? It looks like the rest of his team is just falling so far behind. Storm Spirit getting close to an Orchid, but not quite there just yet. Manta Style will be the item of choice for the Juggernaut. As a Spectre will join the team mid, does not have the Radiance, he's just a, a hundred gold away. I think uh, maybe best to just go into the jungle and clear those uh, creeps up, get that item for yourself for, so for the next uh, team fight you can be available. But don't be stupid, will most likely die here. Yes, he's brought down by the Assassinators, Hot Cheetos, Cheetahs, gonna be brought down, unnecessary use of the Serpent Ward there perhaps, and Spectre will have her Radiance timing delayed yet again. Not the start you want for your Spectre. Already three deaths to her name. Yeah, that was just unnecessary to go there. Ravage use. Uh, by Loaf, just to... He had it off. He had it off cooldown. Why not? That freaked me out. I was like... I was taking a breather. And then, suddenly Ravage. But, that does indicate that Ravage is available for Tidehunter. Which you can use if you would like to. Probably should. As Neko has a full Aghanim Scepter. Can purchase a Blink Dagger next if he so desires. And Rubik has, oh, huh, just a teleport scroll. They can go into Roche now if they would like. They have a good Roche taking lineup. That uh, Mask of Madness on the Sniper and the Juggernaut will allow them to put out a lot of physical damage. Neko included also gets a lot done. He has picked up a Centaur Creep for himself, so he gets that War Stop. Doesn't have any passive ability, unfortunately, as uh, Doom buys a Blink Dagger. There will be a smoke on the high ground, not spotted by the Radiant as they walk around. This is spotted by the Dire. Smoke still not broken. Hot Cheetahs blinks forward, gets the Hex onto Rune, double Impale, and the Tide eats a Doom to the face as Juggernaut uses the Omni Slash for good measure. Stormy WT is running away as fast as he can. He's so close to his Blink Dagger. I believe if he hadn't died in that last fight, he would have it by now. But uh, that will be an easy two kills in Roshan for the Dire Squad East View High School. Just a reminder to anybody watching, you are seeing the High School Star League. I'm your caster, Turbo. You can find me on Twitter at DAS Turbo. As Puppy picks up that uh, Aegis for himself, not needed by the Juggernaut. He's got Omni Slash. He's got Manta Style. He has Blade Fury. He's got so many things in his arsenal to just make quick work of the uh, Radiant team as Spectre has picked up a has picked up a Radiance finally gonna be a Hex and an Impale out onto him there's a double damage for Hot Cheetahs but Spectre will escape it looks like Puppy throws out the Shrapnel we'll see don't be stupid but cancels the Assassinate as uh, Puppy choosing not to uh, waste the mana just gonna group up top in the four and uh, make get to pushing as uh, they do know that Spectre has the ultimate. Checking uh, Lion's skill build really quick. I think Mana Drain Max first is more common, but uh, Hex, very good. Very good ability. 3.5 second duration. As uh, it looks like they will be grouping up to either go for a smoke or just farm the jungle with five. Refresher will be Doom's next item. He's not messing around. He's just going to go straight for the Refresher so we can Doom two targets. 
Jay Doom, how come your mom lets you have two ultimates? <laughs> Juggernaut picks himself up a Skull Basher. He's still got a healing salve on the courier if he likes. Probably gonna drop that Quelling Blade in favor of the Skull Basher as there is a smoke from the Dire team. They're gonna wrap around. Can drop a ward down here on the high ground if they want. And they will spot out D Doan if they do so. Just getting vision. The smoke is gonna break for Neko, so we know somebody is around the corner. D Doan not gonna be able to blink out Willy. He actually gets doomed before he can ravage. Gonna be brought down very quickly by Doom. That's just instant. Couldn't even get the Ravager off. Couldn't even blink. This is just unfortunate timings all over the map for CHS as their Tide Hunter is currently 0, 3, and 0. Uh, it's a rough life. The one saving grace that they do have is that uh, their their lineup is prepared to go late if the, uh, if the uh, option is there. They do have a Spectre with Radiance. They have a Storm Spirit who has just now picked up his Orchid. And they do have a Tide Hunter who eventually will get close to his uh, Double Ravage, although he may not even make it there if the game ends early. The entire point will be to see if they can delay. As Earthshaker has picked up a Blink Dagger for himself, this will be the key turning item, I think, in my eye, at least combined with the Orchid. As uh, Storm Spirit's farming away, not doing as well in, uh, in net worth as everybody else, but uh, he's getting there. As Hot Cheetahs is sitting at full mana, he's going for a... He's going for either an Aghanim Scepter or a uh, Four Staff next. I hope it's a Four Staff, although you have to say there's a certain appeal to uh, getting that getting that full Aghanim Scepter rush. Trade going to be the name of the game, it looks like, as uh, Hot Cheetah is going to blink forward, drop down an aggressive ward here. Should be de-warded. That's a fairly common spot as Puppy is just going to run forward. He's got a Yasha. Can buy a Sand soon if he likes. As Muto going to kill the Spectre. I don't think that uh, Single Haunt has been used this game. Assassinate not even needed from Puppy there. He's getting really close to a Sand and Yasha. The push will commence mid as uh, they also have to worry about contesting the push bottom. Yeah, I'm I'm not really seeing the impact of the uh, Shadow Shaman here. They haven't executed the push strat to its full potential, and it just feels... I mean, it just feels like it's not even a push strat, really. Is uh, Stormy WT going to throw out those fissures? And uh, Doom is just... Doom is getting fat. He already has the Oblivion Staff. He can build into a Perseverance next in uh, 700 gold. This uh, offlane doom has really paid off. Really, it makes you wonder why this, why the offlane doom fell out of favor. As uh, Loaf will have a blink dagger fairly soon. It looks like they're prioritizing farm on him. He needs one more creep sniper. Why you take my last hits? Come on, man. I need my I need my blink dagger. At least then he'll be able to uh, steal ravage more effectively. And I mean that's one thing you have to think about with the refresher on Tide. If he chooses to get it, that's just another opportunity for Rubik to steal Ravage if he misses it the first time around. Aegis is reclaimed as Roshan will respawn in four minutes and forty if four minutes and fifty seconds. <laughs> Shadow Shaman purchases a four staff that'll give him better initiation, hopefully to get in, get out of team fights. Spectre farming away, not the fastest farming Spectre in the world, especially since team fights aren't happening and she's not getting a she's not getting much use out of this radiance besides just farming. We use the spectral dagger to farm creeps. This is just a sad existence of the Spectre. Kill score currently six to fifteen in this game two in this game two of a best of two series. This ward on the high ground, what the, that's already an Abyssal Blade picked up by Mito. This guy is just off the chain with his farm. He just seems to find it everywhere. His net worth is sitting at 16,000. I think this is a player to watch out for as uh, he continues to farm with extreme efficiency. Gonna go to town on this tower with his Abyssal. And uh, the rest of his team will be backing him up. Loaf standing by the team just in case Tide decides to jump in and get a Ravage. He will be able to quickly jump in and steal it as well. Doom sitting on the side with his uh, Blink Dagger as well. 
if they have quick fingers, they should be able to uh, make something happen here. It's hot chi cheetahs. Hot cheetahs, cheetahs, cheetahs. Sane is going to be pushing top. There will be a wraparound from Loaf and Puppy if uh, Storm Spirit just decides to walk back instead of teleport. Oh, he's in rough position here as Neko blinks in. Gonna try and get the Doom off onto the Storm Spirit, but uh, won't be quick enough with the fingers. Storm Spirit will teleport out. Good opportunity for a kill miss there, I suppose. As uh, Spectre continues to farm, I guess that's a little bit of space created by the Storm Spirit. Well played by him. He's going for a BKB next. Not the not the item that you want to get second on Storm, but uh, it's a necessary evil in this game. It won't do much against the Doom. Um, it won't do anything against the Doom. But I uh, I think that he may not be the first target if they can get it. What the hell? Muta gets a kill on the Spectre as he goes on to Sane. He still had the Abyssal Blade available. That's a quick double kill onto the two most farmed heroes for the Radiant. Muta is just going ham here as Sniper picks up a Manta style instead of the uh, instead of the um, Sanjin Yasha that I was expecting. Muta is just he's destroying this game. He's tearing this game wide open as he will continue to bravely push bottom. With 19,000 net worth. Getting close to 20,000 after a few more creeps, he will be there as the Fissure faked that little pump fake on the Fissure from Stormy WT. Hot Cheetahs and Co. gonna push top lane as uh, Juggernaut will make the rotation. Ward put down on this top lane here will spot any rotation by the Radiant. But uh, it looks like Cupertino in a really bad position here. Radiant's top tower has fallen. As uh, Juggernaut already racking up 4,000 excess gold in his uh, bank account. Roche will respawn in a minute and a half. They can choose to push now or they can just wait for Roche. Whichever one appeals to them the most, I think. Radiant are kind of just cooped up in their base for now. Juggernaut will have his ultimate in 20 seconds. Drawings coming out from the, from the dire is, uh, I think, the... The call will be to just wait for Roche as Doom purchases a full refresher orb. He's got Ag's refresher at 31 minutes. This is exactly when the game ended last time in game one. Don't be stupid. Gonna clear these creeps in the jungle. This ward does spot him out. As it looks like there will be an initiation onto Hot Cheetos as he... Quickly avoids the right click with his blink dagger. Very well played by the lion there. He has the four staff coming out to him now. And geez. There's a double damage just as Roche responds. What is th this? is crazy. Who who did you pay to get all this as Puppy is pump faking the, <laughs> the assassinate? Oh god. Double damage. Picked up by Juggernaut, who will immediately walk into Roche. This is just the best timings ever for East View as this Roshan will drop very quickly. Sniper. <laughs> You're gonna drive me crazy with that dude. Blink in by the Lion. Lion will take Ages of the Immortal. This is... I don't know if this is cocky or just confident. They do have a Refresher Doom... Abyssal Blade on the Juggernaut. He's got a Scotty coming out to him soon. He now has full ability to buy that. This is just... Ugh. The farm is massive from Eastview. And it seems like it's been forever since the last kill for... Uh... Yeah, the last kill, the last kill for Cupertino High School happened somewhere around 10 minutes or so, as uh, Storm Spirit killed Muta. It's been a rough game. I'm I would be getting pretty bored if I was on the dot if I was on the Radiant. Juggernaut will push the mid tier one tower in as his uh, comrades will push in bottom. Looks like Muta will join his team. As Sniper's just gonna right click from distance. Muta can run up to the tower now and. Uh, 
go to town as he has a eye of Scotty. He's extremely tanky with almost 3,000 hit points. Rune has a four staff available to him in level two mass serpent ward. He can clear waves fairly quickly with his ether shock. Uh, but it looks like the right click of Muta and his friend Puppy are too strong. As a tier three tower will fall and tower and the base will be broken as there is a doom out onto Stormy WT. Ravage comes in from D Doan. There's one available, but it's stolen by the Rubik. It's going to be a disaster of a team fight for Cupertino High School as Muta is godlike with a triple kill. The team fight going all to hell. The Doom didn't even die in that. Now he will. Didn't have to use the second Doom, it looks like, as everybody just died too quickly. Rune's gonna fall, gets impaled, and brought down by the Rubik. Rubik turns this team fight wide open with that Ravage Steel. And it looks like this will be game for Eastview High School. It's the Fissure coming out. Blink in. Echo Slam by Stormy WT, but it doesn't look like he'll be able to kill anybody. Loaf stole the Fissure, actually, and they will bring down the Earthshaker and the Tidehunter in a dieback. GG is called by Stormy WT, and that's a quick 2-0 for Eastview High School. As uh, Sniper and Juggernaut just blew this game wide open. Hot Cheetah's calling out the GG boys. <clears throat> well played by both sides, but in the end, Eastview too strong. This is uh, both teams good manners. Well, that's it for tonight's broadcast, I think. Um... It was a best of two. Eastview High School won both games. I'm your caster, Das Turbo. You, well, I'm just Turbo, but you can find me on Twitter at Das Turbo. Um, I'm probably going to be playing games after this. I don't know. I kind of want to take a break from Dota playing it. I mean, <laughs> just look at this. Muta 11 won 6 on Juggernaut. That's crazy. That's craziness. All right. That's it for the games tonight. Have a good night, everybody. Enjoy your week. By the way, music for this cast provided by the awesome Sismix. You can find him on Twitter at C-Y-S-M-I-X. He's also on Bandcamp. You can go purchase his music. His music is awesome, and he was gracious enough uh, to let me use it. So enjoy the music before the stream goes down.